Hi, what if I told you that there was a simple way to grow the Scala community? Pretty much was one command. Would you do it? Hey, Vlad here from devinsidey.com. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to grow the Scala community. As I already mentioned, pretty much with one command. Right after the message from our sponsor, which is you or people like you. We're currently on the way to 500 patrons, which apparently are called patrons. Who would have thought? An editor buys us some time to hang out during live streams or develop more complex videos instead of spending this time on editing them. Every patron counts, so please consider it. And if you don't, I would like you to know that I still love you. No, really. Now let's get back to the video. Now this video was triggered by the following tweet. Let me actually open it. It's over here by Olaf. Scala developers considering whether a project is worth starting on GitHub. Essentially, he makes a point that even though something like Scala FMT has 1.2 million monthly downloads, it has only a couple of GitHub stars, like 1,000. And meanwhile, JavaScript projects like Swelved have to 1,000 GitHub stars, but only 200,000 weekly downloads. And he also mentions a plugin called SBT Thank You Stars, which I checked out Unfortunately, it doesn't work because it's five years old and it just hasn't been maintained. So I tried it out, it doesn't work, but I fixed it. And it's already merged, but not published yet. So today we're going to publish my own fork locally, but by the time you're watching this video, this plugin is already going to be published. By the way, coincidentally, just a couple of hours ago, well, 21 hours ago, somebody published a very similar article on Reddit. Can we all please start our top 15 use Scala libraries and Pretty much the intention is exactly the same. All right, so let me show you the plugin real quick. And as I already mentioned, currently it doesn't work. It's like five years old, but there is a PR, which is mine, and it was merged like literally, where is it? Well, it's because it's not open anymore. Is closed. There we go, fix everything. Right, so it was merged like 19 minutes ago, and uh, yeah. So as of right now, we're just gonna like publish it locally, and I'm just gonna walk you through it. So essentially, what it provides is basically one command, right? So you just go into SBT and you do thank you stars, and pretty much go through all of your dependencies, finds the pom files, and if they're on GitHub, it goes and stars them. As of right now, it doesn't do this for plugins yet. So all you need to do is pretty much just go create a token with the public repo scope and then pretty much run thank you stars. Obviously you need to put the token somewhere and it's very common to either put it into an environment variable or to put it in a file. So let's just go and quickly demo this, all right? So I'm over here in my WSL2 Ubuntu 20.04 distribution. I'm gonna go into my dev folder and I'm going to use the GitHub CLI to clone my fork, right? Because as of right now, when I'm recording this, which is February 19, I believe, and this video is going to come out in seven days, so in February 26, and I'm pretty sure that by this time you're not going to need to do what I'm doing right now because it's going to be published, so just check the GitHub link, it's going to be in the description below for the version, okay? So we're simply going to clone this, and by the way, I have a video about the GitHub CLI, it's really, really cool. All right, so we're gonna go in there, which is over here, and what we need to do now is we need to git checkout hyphen hyphen track origin slash bug hyphen fixes, which is my branch. And by the way, really cool trick, if you are an FZF user, let me actually go out and remove this again, okay? So I'm going to clone it again like this. And I have a cool alias, which is a combination of FZF and Git, and I call it FGCOR, which says, stands for FZF Git Checkout Remote. Let me actually show it to FGCOR, okay? So it does GCO, right, which is simply Git Checkout. Then it does track whatever the output of this command is going to be, GBR pipes into FZF, and GBR is Git Branch Remote. So instead of doing that thing that we did before with this Git Checkout, blah, 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 I can just do FGCOR, and then I can search for something like fixes and it's not there. Why is it not there? Because I'm in the wrong directory, okay? So I need to go over there, okay? And so do I do FGCOR, okay? And there we go. I just do like something like fixes, right? This is my branch. I press enter. Bam, it did exactly that's the same thing behind the scenes, all right? So I need to go into the build file real quick and just change the version a little bit just over here. I'm going to call it something like local because we're going to publish it locally. No, not now. Let's get out of here, all right? So this is the diff. We just changed the version to local, all right? So all I need to do now is I need to do SBT publish local. All right, and while it does that, we're actually gonna go and we're gonna make sure, so we're gonna use it as a global SBT plugin, okay? So we're gonna do 1.0 slash plugins. We're simply gonna make sure that this directory exists and as of right now, it's empty. I thought it would be empty. There's a build. Okay, what is inside of build? 
All right. Mm, interesting. Cool. So we're just going to uh, echo something like this into a new file, which we're going to call, uh, well, let's call it like plugins.sbt. We can actually just add it to build.sbt as well. Okay. For this one, we need to use this. All we need to do is we need to do add sbt plugin like this. And the organization is com.mayra. Okay. One modular symbol. Okay. The percentage symbol is called sbt thank you stars okay and the version is going to be local okay oops i think i ruined it like this there we go or was it like this and there we go like this and like that and the version is going to be local okay let me triple check again yeah it looks fine all right so let me actually bat into it and I did it wrong. Okay, so I probably should use a different um, different one because it's probably generate, oh, I, I called it wrong. Build like this, all right? So build, that's why I always do bad just to make sure. Okay, so we can also remove the bullied, um, this one, all right? Cool, so let's bat into it again. Awesome, cool. So now all we need to do is we need to go back to the depth directory and we can go back out of here. Okay, so over here I have this thank you stars. We're going to create a project based on one of my Jitterate templates. We're gonna use the Scala seed for Scala too because as of right now it has more dependencies. All right, so we're just gonna call it delete me. What? Well, not like this, not like this. No, again, I wanted to call it delete me. All right, what's happening today? I can't type for some reason. Delete me, there we go. Enter, enter, cd into delete me, and let's also initialize a git repository just for fun because I can, okay? So now what we can do is we can go into sbt, and I'm going to run thank you stars, but we haven't created our token yet, so I just want to show you that it is going to explode. In fact, while it does that, let's actually go over here, and we're going to click over here, which is github.com slash settings slash tokens. As you can see, I already have a token, but we're going to create a new one, and we need to click on the scope. There we go. Oh. All right, I thought I would need to do the OS2 dance. All right, so we need to uh, have this uh, public repo scope. Click, never expire, no expiration. And we're going to say SVT, thank you, stars, video. Never ever show your tokens to anyone. I'm going to delete this one right after this video. If this is the first time ever that you're creating tokens, please make sure to copy it over here because after you do this, it will disappear. It says over here, you won't be able to see it again, okay? So I'm simply going to copy it right now, but as of right now, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna do thank you stars, okay? And it will simply explode because we don't have it. What is it actually downloading right now? That's interesting. File not found, yeah, there you go. File not found, thank you stars. Let's actually run it again, maybe it will show something more. No, okay, so we can also do last thank you stars and we should see the entire exception. Yeah, there we go. But as you can imagine, it just simply says file not found, okay? So it expects a file in the home directory called dot thank you stars with a little bit of JSON, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to echo all right, so this is going to be some JSON and we're going to echo it into the file called thank you stars.json. Okay, so this needs to be a valid JSON with one object over here, right? And it's going to be called token. Please don't forget the quotes token, colon, space, and another one. And we're going to paste my token. There we go. And now if we go over here, if we do, well, just thank you stars, it should be fine now. Right, so as you can see, it starred a bunch of repositories. Now, how do we know that it actually works? Well, we're gonna go to context applied. For example, this is like a one of them. And as you can see, I started, so we're going to remove the star. I'm going to reload just to make sure that everything is fine. I'm going to close this again, and I'm going to run it again. And I'm gonna click on context applied again. And there you go, the star appeared again. By the way, a super funny story about context applied. I joined a company called Avanste like a year ago and I was talking to a colleague of mine about context applied and I was like, hey, do you know it? And he said, yes, I do, because I wrote it. I was like, what, are you August, June? And he said, yes. How funny is that? The Scala community is really, really small. We really, really need to grow it. And this is a very, very easy way to do it add stars, and also like this video. See, when I started this YouTube channel, which was five years ago, by the way, I really couldn't understand why YouTube creators constantly beg for likes. I thought, are they really so needy? But no, they are not. It's all about the algorithm. Can you imagine if this video gets like 1,000 views and for some magical reason, it also gets 1,000 likes? The algorithm is gonna look at it and be like, whoa, that video is special. And so it's gonna start recommending this to a bunch of other people. So please like this video, please star the Scala repositories and let's make the Scala community grow. Since we're still in the demo part of the video, I also would like to demonstrate 
uh, how we can use the environment variables. In fact, let me actually open this again. And what I will do is I will move the file from my home directory, right? The dot thank you stars. I will simply move it over here, which is not a good location, but still I will simply move it, okay? And so if I run it now, it will say that it's not there. However, what I can do is I can export, and by the way, for this, I probably need to do on this, right? So I need to kill SBT, okay? So what I can do is thank you underscores think you stars and json underscore file okay equals and i'm going to use a full path okay so i'm going to do dev delete me and i'm going to do dot thank you stars okay so i'm going to export this environment variable and now i'm going to run sbt and i'm going to also do thank you stars immediately as well okay and this should work Ta-da! it worked Yet another way to do this is, and allow me to remove this file. Thank you, stars. Okay, so if, if you were to do this now, it would not work. So I'm going to say thank you, thank you, stars, github underscore token. Okay, and I'm just going to put my token over here. Okay, again, please never show your tokens to anyone. I'm going to remove this one right after I finish recording this video. Ta-da! Now, ironically, as of right now, it does not star plugins. So if we were to go to this plugin, okay, and if I were to refresh it, and it has nothing to do with the fact that we're using it as a global plugin, no, it just, as of right now, it does not star plugins. So please manually go there and star this plugin. All right, I wanted to make this video super short. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please understand that this is not a toy. This can really, really help us to grow the Scala community. Imagine what we could do if everyone on your team used it. You don't even need to include it in your project. You can use it as a global plugin, export this variable, and you're good to go. By the way, I have a cool video about Deer ENV. It's not a perfect use case for this one because Deer ENV allows you to load environment variables per directory. Again, it's not a perfect use case for this, but if you're curious about environment variables, you might want to check it out. A couple of words before I leave. It's an open source project, so please consider contributing something to it. For instance, it would be cool if we would actually star the plugins as well. Also, it would be cool if it could star the projects on GitLab as well. And I checked, GitLab also has a concept of stars. Also, once it's merged and and properly published, I will make sure to include it into my Jitterate templates, but you don't need to wait for this. Go and create your tokens now. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one. For now, as always, it's been Vlad from devinsideyou.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you. And if you wish to support tech education, please consider doing so on Patreon or GitHub sponsors, whichever you prefer. And as watch my videos weeks and sometimes even months before everyone else. And most importantly, take care.